What is going on, guys? Grave here today. I'd like to talk about why the year one celebration is one of the best times to farm in-game gear. There's a lot of different areas you can go to, a lot of stuff that's considered in-game from these areas, and of course it is double drops. You have a better chance of getting exactly what you want. First of all, let's talk about Cyrodiil. Now, Cyrodiil will have the option to go in and actually play the PvP part in the Imperial City Sewers. You can get your double Tevlar, then go in and buy things like Powerful Assault and a lot of other good sets as well. But Powerful Assault comes to mind because a lot of people would like to have it for their tank or at least to get some of the gear to sell in the Guild Trader. Uh, here on PlayStation, and I'm sure it's like this on all the other platforms as well, the Powerful Assault Eye Staff is very expensive. If it is rolled correctly, you're looking at millions of gold. And even if it's not rolled correctly, you're still looking at four or 500,000 plus gold. So you can go in. Uh, of course, you can go down in the, uh, the sewers, get your double Tevlar, and then come out and use that Tevlar to buy some different things you can sell or that you could farm for yourself. We also have the option to play the White Gold Tower and Imperial City Prison, uh, Imperial City Prison, excuse me, uh, dungeons in uh, Cyrodiil. Now these two offer some good gear. Uh, you may need some things for your sticker book. You may be a healer and you want some of the gear out of White Gold Tower, which is considered in game. So those are two good ones to grind out as well. You may also want to play it on bet and get some of the monster hounds if you have not got those yet. Another good place to go in and be able to grind out in-game gear, of course, is going to be Craglorn. Craglorn offers several trials that are the base game trials that are probably the easiest in-game. You can run these on normal and still get some really good gear for an in-game build for stamina or magic. And you also can get some really good gear from these trials for solo builds if you're a solo player. Another good thing about Craglorn is we have Dragonstar Arena there. Uh, Dragonstar Arena has master weapons. The master healing staff is one of the best in-game for healers. With the upgrades to the eye staff, I think the master's eye staff might be worth looking at. But also, from each round, or in each round in the arena, in Dragonstar Arena, you're going to be able to get gear. And some of that gear is really good for solo builds as well. And last but not least, we have Rothgar. Now, Rothgar is a DLC, of course. You're not going to be able to play in Rothgar unless you own the DLC or if you have ESO+, Plus, whatever the case may be. But Rothgar does have where I think the most people in the in the game are probably going to be hanging out, uh, Maelstrom Arena. Now, of course, just like Dragonstar Arena, you can play it on normal or bet and get the weapons, you know, in a little bit more upgraded version if you get it on bet. Of course, the normal version works perfectly fine. And Maelstrom Arena is probably a place you're hanging out anyway. And if you're hanging out there, you know how long it takes to get those weapons to drop. There's so many different weapons that are available within Maelstrom Arena, it's hard to get exactly what you need. That Inferno Staff, that Lightning Staff. You know, you may want to try out the Eye Staff now. You may want to try out the Bow, whatever the case may be. Uh, it's hard to get that stuff and get it to drop correctly. So you can go in Maelstrom and get that double drop at the end to have a better chance of getting what you want. And if you want to go in and play it on normal, like I said, that Maelstrom, I, I use a normal Maelstrom Inferno Staff because I've had it for so many years now, back when there was no normal option. You had to play it on vet. You had to go in there and just grind and grind and grind. I, I played it for around 500 times years and years ago to be able to get that Inferno staff to drop. And that's still what I used it today. I, I just really don't think the benefit of getting the one on vet is needed. But if you would like to, you know, that is perfectly fine. But I think it's going to give you a good chance to get in-game builds together, a good chance to get good stuff for solo builds, and also a very good chance to fill out the most of uh, what you have left in your sticker book for some of these areas. So leave me a, con uh, leave me a comment. Let me know what you're going to be grinding out during this year one event. Of course, if you like the video, hit the like. If you have not subscribed yet, please do so. If you are a subscriber, make sure you click the bell icon in the top right corner so you know when everything goes live here on the channel. And check out everything down in the description. The community discord, my Twitter, and of course the affiliate here on the channel, Empire Jerky. And I'll catch you all next time. Peace.